of the things about being around the people of the ADF was um, there was an overwhelming feeling of um, someone always had your back. Uh, there wasn't any discrimination there and you always felt safe that um, you know, no matter what the situation, if anything ever went down, that there would be someone there to watch your back. And um, that feeling rubs off. It can't help but rub off. I mean, you can't go into a place like this and, and have it not affect not just you, but the people that you're there with. I mean, we went in there as a band, but um, I think having been there, we became more like brothers. Most people had nicknames like Dodge and Titch and Kingy, and uh, that rubs off too. We ended up giving ourselves, you know, war names, nicknames. They call me the Mighty Flea. And no. <laughs> <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> it's crazy watching the Apaches go out every day. They you know, fire off a couple of rounds to make sure everything was working before they went out. And when they went out, they meant business. Nice and warm tonight. Yeah. Mm. Mm, it's it's warm. Yeah. I've got to say. I have to say the uh, the room needless lessons have really been paying off. Look at this place, looks like a bomb hit it. Uh. And I've got a wet pillow because somebody pulled this. Hey man, I'll just turn it down to 12. <laughs> Flea. Flea likes the cold temperature. <laughs> How's your chalky bar, Jill? How's it been a mad dog? Thanks for sharing yeah, your chalky bar. Yeah, how's the Hershey bar, dude? Very good. I hope you saved some for Very us in case we want to play them. He's sleeping in mad a hat. dog. Mad dog. <laughs> what have I told you about playing with fire in bed? Fleas do a ballads. Fleas do mad. You want to watch that too, that flame could be on there. Look at it. That's right. Because <laughs> you better watch it, mate. <laughs> I'm a mad flea. <laughs> Going straight on the on the Leatherman Falls. So uh, last night was probably the, the most bizarre end of gig that uh, we've ever been part of because uh, I reckon it would have been about a minute after we finished the gig and um, we had the uh, what they call the IDF or the indirect fire alarm go off and so uh, we were all rushed in, in here which is one of the one of the bunkers right next to the um, the converted Apache um, hangar where we did our gig last night and we had to hang here for about a good hour I think before they gave us the all clear. So uh, two nights in a row we got fired on. I mean nothing actually landed in the base but it's still pretty still pretty frightening anyway. But yeah, as I've said this whole trip we've been in excellent hands with the Australian Defence Forces and I, I can't praise them highly enough I have to tell you. So uh, yeah this is what one of the bunkers Try and imagine about 50 people crammed into this bunker. Now try and imagine it's pitch black. 
you're having shells fired at you. Sounds pretty scary, yeah? The thing about it is it wasn't. People were laughing. Uh, we were trying to take photos of one another in the bunker. Brothers and sisters, 